You're right guys, this is Project Progress. I've got like three or four projects on the go at the moment. I've started a gate for my neighbour and I got part way through cutting it all and realised I haven't got enough wood and that wood's going to be delivered on one day now. I'm having like 10 pieces of CLS so it's not really ideal to put in a car so I'm just going to get them to deliver it. I'm also waiting on the nails to fit the horseshoe to the horse's hoof that I was carving and thank you to everybody that commented on the last Project Progress video talking about the different methods I could use to expand the base because I'd cut it too small. I did indeed go with the majority consensus of adding the maple to the base. I did have a couple of comments as well talking about how I could blend the maple into the wingy but after I'd actually like glued on the maple and sanded it all smooth and looked at it I'm really pleased with the sharp contrast between the two but as I always say thank you to everybody who commented and everybody who got involved I've got another question for you this week that I'll be asking a bit later on so I'll be sure you get involved but I'm going to actually show you because it's been so long how the hoof is actually coming along so here it is so as you can hopefully see this is just obviously rough light kind of on it I've got all the inside carved out and as I was saying, I'm really pleased with that stark contrast between the two. I've shaped the back of it to give it more of a natural look. It's really tactile to feel, really tactile. And that's why I've left it as is without adding on the actual leg itself. A lot of people commented the same to just keep it as the hoof because you're going to really be taken away from what is the main piece. So it can really just sit like that on a table, on a desk, and then you need courage to pick it up and feel it and feel the carving, it's just one of those pieces so I'm really pleased with how it's turned out and as soon as I've got the nails through the post I'll be able to put the horseshoe on and the video will be out. I've actually done a turning project for the first time in like over two years maybe. I've had this idea of making a dog chew holder. If you've got a dog then you'll know what it's like once they've started chewing the raw hide chews in particular. They're either all slimy and horrible or when they dry rock hard, they're like sharp as anything and they slice your hands to pieces when the dog pulls it out of your hand. So I thought make a dog chew holder. And I was trying to come up with different things that could act as a clamp for the chew. I thought what's better than a Jacob's truck off a drill. So I went on Amazon, I managed to find one and then I thought well I just need a handle for it. So I've turned a handle and this is what I've come up with. Really basic handle, nice grip on it and metal chuck that I can put a dog chew in. Oscar's working on the chews at the minute because for the video I want to show like putting a brand new chew in there and also one that he's been chewing and that's all monkey. So as soon as he's done with that I'll be able to release the video for this. I'm thinking that'll probably be Monday, maybe Tuesday. It all depends how quick he can get through it but knowing Oscar it'll be done later on. As I said at the beginning I'm also working on a gate for my neighbour. It's like a two metre span gate. I'm going to be adding a wheel on the bottom that's on the, like a sprung wheel. So I think it should be an interesting project. One of those typical how-to kinds of videos as well, how an average Joe would make it anyway and that should be out maybe in a couple of weeks time just to give me like space spanning out between these individual projects. But I'm getting back in the workshop, I'm feeling a lot better than I was a few weeks ago and everything's kind of like settling down now a bit which is always good. And I just want to thank you all for all your support and especially to my supporters over on Patreon. Honestly guys, I can't begin to thank you all enough. It really means a lot to me that you choose to support me in that way. For the classic Joe rewards here and above, I've actually got some mugs made up. It's just with my Average Joe's Joinery logo from my banner pages. It's Average Joe's Joinery and then my tagline, Average Can Be Extraordinary. I think the print quality is actually quite good if it will actually pick up on camera. There we go. It's kind of hard to really see in this light, I do apologise, but I'll probably put up a couple of pictures on Instagram for you to check out. And as I say, these will be going out to the classic Joe Rewards here and above, those of you who have claimed it. So thank you so much guys, I really can't begin to thank you all enough. Before I get going, I did say that I'd have a question for you lot to help me out with this week. As you know, I've just turned this project on my lathe, and turning on the lathe, I really enjoyed it because it's one of those things where you can start and get to the end of a finished project in a very short amount of time. Other areas of woodworking and making, there's a lot of gluing bits together and waiting for it to set up, waiting for it to dry. On the lathe, you put a chunk of wood, turn it to the shape you want, put some finish on it, and it's done. So that's what I really like. I've got an idea of making some turn boxes for my lenses to my camera. So I like, could have different sizes and put the labels on so I know what lens is inside. So that's something I'd really like to do. But what else would you lot like to see me do with the lathe? Because I've got quite a lot of little scraps of walnut especially in my workshop and it'd be great to try and use some of that lot up. So if you've got any recommendations for quick 
simple projects I could do on the lathe because I've got it there, I never use it, but I enjoy using it. So any inspiration you've got, honestly guys, I'd really appreciate it left in the comments down below. So that's it then guys, I'll see you on the next video.